What's up everyone, ADS Play 101 here and welcome to another reaction video of The Feels and of course you know I'm a big Pokemon fan. I watched the Pokemon World Championships uh, for the past couple days. Shout out to Luminicity aka formerly known as Black Hand who won the World Championships for the second time in a row. The second year in a row. So shout out to them. Uh, they did real good. The matches were pretty intense. Messed up my predictions on Pokemon Unite, so I guess I'm not getting the Hollowware boxes, but nevertheless, they have revealed Mimikyu and Meowskerator. You know, along with Blaziken. Of course, Blaziken was already announced prior to the Mimikyu and Meowskerator, but Blaziken was already in the test server back in like July 3rd, and there was a, a there was some data mine leak that revealed that Mimikyu, Meowskerator, as well as Metagross were going to be coming to the game. But they made a promo video of Blaziken, Mimikyu, and Meowskerator, and I wanted to get my honest opinion about it. So I'm going to cut the music, we're going to turn the video up, and we're going to uh, see um, exactly what we got coming to Pokemon Unite in the near future. So, hope you're all ready. I know for a lot of y'all, this is y'all first time seeing it, but I've been announcing that for the longest. There's Mimikyu. He looks like he got his own version of Shadow Sneak. Oh, this Shadow Sneak. I think that's Shadow Sneak. Okay, I'm assuming that's Flash. There's Miascarita. This is. Oh, wait, she, she, she got a Shadow Claw? Some of those pedal dance. So, Blazer can come on September 14th. We knew that already. So, wait a minute. Like, now they they didn't announce that they were going to be in the test server no time soon. I'm assuming that Mimikyu and Meowskerator is going to be on the test server in September. But, so for those of you who don't know, Blazer can is uh, he's a very unique. Um, all-rounder in a sense that he has a unite move that doesn't really do an attack but it switches his stances so the way he works is that his stance he has two different stances he has a kick stance and he has a punch stance he's in a kick stance by default as he you know levels up and evolves but when he uses his unite move it switches to his punch stance and you have access to different moves his kick stance has overheat and I think it has blaze kick um, Oh, overheat, which I nicknamed, you know, uh, carpet burn, because it basically has like a long square that uh, that's the area of effect, and you charge up a kick, and when it gets past a certain point, you activate it, and it, it shoves them back a little bit, and it does, you know, a lot of damage. And uh, his blaze kick, if I remember, that's the name of it. It can shove multiple people in one direction, and if they hit a wall, then they get stunned. So, like I said, I played him in the test server. For the people that's been in my TikTok streams, you know I've played him in the test server multiple times, explained him. So, and the interesting thing, or at least the way he is at the moment, his Unite move has a five second cooldown and he gets it at level eight. So he basically learns his Unite move at the same pace as like, the, uh, as like all the Eevees. And um, the cool thing is the way he's supposed to be used is that when you, when you use his, his moves, you're supposed to activate his Unite move to switch to the second stance and start using those. Because his Unite move, at, at, at least at this point, you know, we don't know if they're going to increase the cooldown of it. But at this point in the test server, it's five seconds. In that, it, it, like you get access to your Unite move uh, stance switch 
before your other moves actually cool down. But from the way it seems, it's like the the kick stance is kind of better for crowd control, and the punch stance is better for like chase down. So that's the way he's he pretty much works. But he's a very he's a very combo heavy Pokemon. Now his passive applies a mark on all their hits, and his his uh, his basic attacks do splash damage, so he can mark multiple people at the same time. So the way it works is that he can leave up to five marks on a target, it, you know, just from regular basic attacks. And on that fifth mark, he heals himself. So ideally, when he's attacking like a bunch of people, the idea is just to attack them as fast as possible, get him all to like the fifth mark. That way, he can keep healing himself, like you know, rapidly. So, and that's when he uses a basic attack or one of his moves. So that's that's basic, and he's a very combo heavy Pokemon. So that's basic. Now, as far as the moves that they show us with Mimikyu, one of them seems to be Shadow Sneak. Now, unlike um, unlike Decidueye, who also has Shadow Sneak, with Decidueye, it just seeks out a nearby target, like even if they hide in the bushes, if I believe. I don't use Decidueye like this. So forgive me if I'm uh, giving misinformation, but I believe it seeks out people regardless of where they're hiding. And it slows them down and it lowers their defenses. Um, so that way when you do Spirit Shackle or anything like that, it can do a lot of damage. Uh, for Mimikyu, his Shadow Sneak, it, it still sneaks, uh, well, it still seeks out targets. Regardless if it, I don't know if it lowers defenses, obviously that hasn't been revealed yet, but it seeks out targets. And it, it looks like he teleports to them and hits them. Or at least that's what we're seeing right now. Uh, so it looks cool. I mean, he looks to be like a, a, a defender, pretty much. A defender slash supporter. Because I don't see him being anything else, to be honest with you. And the game needs more defenders and supporters, primarily. Uh, and speedsters. But yeah, but that, that Shadow Sneak will go. So you can easily catch somebody. I don't know how long. I'm pretty sure that if you strengthen that, you could probably sneak Rayquaza or whatever the objective Pokemon is going to be in the near future. Because I'm pretty sure that like they're going to change the map soon. So, that's Mimikyu. That, that Shadow Sneak right there looks dope. The scoring animation is whatever. But his Unite move... I mean, I wonder if that hits multiple people at once or it's just one target. And I'm assuming this is Thrash. Mind you, I never played the Pokemon game where he premiered in. Or, or did I? Did he premiere in black and white? I think he did. But then again, I, I never used him. So, I don't know if this is... I don't know if this is supposed to be Thrash or it has another name. But he just jumps on the target and just whips his ass with the costume. With the Pikachu costume that he has on him. So I'm assuming that's supposed to be Thrash. I mean, that's just like one move and one Unite move that we're seeing. Right, next up is Meowskarada. That's Legato. Right there. Which looks to be a speedster. And she has a move that... I'm assuming that's supposed to be double team? I'm, I'm assuming that's double team. And this is clearly a speedster. So, when... Masquerader uses the move, which I can only assume is double team again. It leaves a clone that goes to a certain location, and then when Masquerader activates it again, it it switches places with the clone. It looks like it does damage. It. So, ideally, you could probably do some cool setups with that. So that would be good to see. I ain't gonna lie, like, that scoring animation is, is swaggy. Like, he just flips his wrist. That's dope. Now, the Unite move, I don't know if this is supposed to be Pedal Dance or something like that, but clearly, it's fire as hell. Hey. 
You guys can't walk over the little bit of sand. I'm going on the catwalk. Let's go. Yeah, so that's Masquerader. Now, if, if I were to guess the release dates, right? If I were to guess the release dates, obviously, you know, we knew that Blazer Cam was going to be coming September 14th. This is before Mew 2 even got announced. So we originally it was supposed to be released in August, but because Mew 2 kind of got announced like smack dab in the middle of Intellion and Blaziken, they pushed back Blaziken to September. So that's the reason why he's coming out in September now. Now, if I were to guess, Mimikyu, we more than likely is going to get him during Halloween, or at least during the month of October. Uh, Mimikyu, you know, he's a ghost. I believe he's a ghost, but he, he is a dark type. Um, and he's basically a creature hiding underneath like a pick, hiding underneath like a Pikachu costume. So I can only assume that they're going to release it during the time where everybody's wearing costumes, which is Halloween. And uh, Meowskerator, we'll probably get Meowskerator, I would say, in November, probably. And Metagross, we'll probably get during December. Um, but they have yet to announce a release date for Metagross, unless they're going to release him with a new batch of Pokemon. So, yeah, looks like the data mine was right. Um, it's cool to see him in action, most definitely, but it looks like we're getting another uh, defender slash supporter uh, in Mimikyu, and we're getting another speedster with Meowskerator. So we're basically getting what we need. So if Metagross is um, anything like the data mines, you know, have shown us, I mean, all they showed was like names and like little effects, but hopefully they keep on with this and that Metagross ends up being like a defender or something like that because we actually need more defenders in the game so it's cool to see him in action um I, I like what I see and I can't wait to see the, what the other moves that they have um because I think like Mimikyu is going to end up being one of those Pokemon that I really like focus on using and uh I might enjoy so that's my reaction to Mimikyu um, and Meowskerator being revealed uh, I'm excited for it so I can't wait till they appear in the test server and I literally wish I can get my hands on them now but we probably won't get them in the test server until like after Blaziken gets released so or at the very least in, in sometime in September but that's it man hope you guys enjoyed it Peace, and I'll see you guys later.